situation is too small it's too small i want you to know before we head into the world you don't serve a dead god you serve a mighty god god is on your side power is on your side the holy spirit is on your side holy ghost before we head into the world i want you guys to share this live stream each and every one of you share 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 tag your friends tag your family members tag your friends tag your family members tag your enemies tag your frenemies by chance if anybody if anybody fighting you don't tag them because this word is 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 this word is is for each and every one of them if you know any witch by chance tag the witch Tag the wizards, tag the warlocks, because what I'm about to release <laughs> on this platform, it will shake nations. Let me just pray. Let me just pray before we get into the word. Father, in the name of Jesus, while I'm praying, you guys continue sharing continue tagging them father in the name of jesus lord i invoke your blood over this platform i invoke your blood over this platform and your word says that you blotted out every ordinance and every handwriting you've nailed to the cross so lord i thank you lord that by your legal blood that this night there will be no enchantment there will be no divination there will be no disconnection there will be no distraction and we deploy the angels of the Lord against every territorial power. We deploy the angels that excel in strength to break every restriction, every barrier, every iron gate. We scatter those gates. We declare, we declare access to territories. I come with the keys. I am the keys. <laughs> tonight and i declare every territory is opened every territory is open men and women will join this live stream from territories across the world there will be no hindrance there will be no distraction in jesus name lord we thank you for your peace we thank you for your spirit of wisdom we thank you for your knowledge we thank you for your understanding we give you all the glory and advance for every miracle that will take place and every life that will be blessed and transformed and save for your honor and for your glory in jesus mighty name amen amen i see the angels of the lord i see the angels of the lord Mando broko mighty testimonies massive breakthrough is coming to many families massive breakthrough some of you have been praying for things for some years it the answer is no the answer is no the answer is right here on this live stream you've been praying for for years about some things i hear the lord say i tell them tonight tonight he's releasing that answer tonight he's releasing that answer i hear the lord also say he's speeding up some process because some of you you're going through some process you started some things and it is being delayed god is speeding it up before we start praying before we start declaring the word of god and before you start testifying turn with me to the book of genesis chapter the two and verses seven genesis chapter two and verses seven genesis chapter two and verses seven genesis chapter two and verses seven i'm going to show you a very deep and powerful mystery this is a prophetic teaching meaning whatever i speak you will see you will see it come to pass whatever word god places in my mouth tonight immediately you must see it come to pass this is a prophetic teaching a prophetic teaching the god man the God man the God man part one so this is only part one and the testimonies that will come out of this video and it's only part one part one so imagine part two and how long God leads us <laughs> Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7 thank you to Misha Albert for putting it up there look look the scriptures up there Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7 
Yera kataba di kede kere mando. Jere kete kere bo si kede kere kere ba. Jere kete kere mando. Zobro koto koto kote kete kete. I see the angel of the Lord with a package, with a package. I am that I'm asking. And the Lord wants me to tell somebody. I don't know who this word is for. That, <laughs> somebody was praying for a child. It's like you're, you're trying, you're trying all, all over. You're praying, you're fasting to get that child. I don't know if the problem is with you. It's a man. Or if the problem is with your wife or whatever but i hear the lord say tell you that package that i just saw in the realm of the spirit that is your child <laughs> man genesis chapter 2 and verse 7 i don't know who that word is for but if it's if it's speaking directly to you receive it receive it genesis chapter 2 and verse 7 a woman she messaged me before we had entered the word she said man of god man of god I don't know what is going on in my life. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't get children. And I said, we were we were at that at that at that service there in Bobville. And the woman came out at the back after the service, and she came to me. I can speak a testimony. It's okay. She told me that I can share the testimony, right? She came to me. And she said she told me she's not getting to make children. And I heard the Lord say, take her hands and speak the word. And I take I took her hands and I said in the name of jesus according to the time of life return with your children the woman messaged me i think was like two weeks after she said man of god the baby is in the making <laughs> <laughs> so so this god we serve can can is still in the business of giving people children this god we serve is still raising the cripple <laughs> this god we serve is still performing signs wonders and miracles yes the ancient of days yes the ancient of days it means he was there before time began so if anything is in your life it is too late god was there before it god is bigger than your problems god is bigger than your problems God is bigger than your problems. There's a song. I serve a very big God. Oh, he is always by my side. A very big God. Oh, by my side, by my side. <laughs> before we before we before we head into this world, the Lord wants me to release the oil of joy. The oil of joy. Because I see many of you mourning and going through seasons of mourning and you're just worrying about this and that. I want to release a grace in your life. You're going to find yourself laughing throughout this whole live stream and you don't even know why. I'm not saying I will make jokes for you to laugh. I'm saying there's a grace that will put provoke you to laugh most of you know what i'm about to release i decree and declare for everyone that will watch this video take that oil of joy i release that oil of joy into your life i release that oil of joy into your into your family i release that oil of joy into your marriage i release the oil of joy into that old soul right now right now in the name of jesus take that oil of joy take that oil of joy they're gonna say it's warm to this girl she just laughing it's like she running off warm to this boy she just laughing <laughs> take that oil of joy right now in jesus name genesis chapter 2 and verse is 7 genesis chapter 2 and verse is 7 Focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. Focus on this. I hope you guys have shared or sh are still sharing the live stream because you don't know. Sometimes, by share, just sharing this live stream, you can be a blessing to somebody else. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. The word of God says in the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, it says, Then the, the earth. <laughs> then the earth then the lord sorry then the lord god formed a man from the dust of the ground 
and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life let me go over that one more time it says then the lord god formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living soul i want you to understand what is taking place here the first thing god did he formed the man from the dust meaning a dimension of mankind came from the dust came from the earth so he took his time to form the man to form the man he formed the man from the dust now as much as god took out time to form the man the man was not a living soul yet as yet until god breathed his breath of life so as much as you were created from this earth as much as god used the earth to create you there is another dimension of you that most of you have not yet recognized and you will recognize tonight and it's the spirit of god whom god breathed inside of you so there's a dimension of you that watch god form the dust <laughs> let me slow down let me slow down there's a dimension of you as a child of god as a man in the earth realm when i say man i mean male and female right i mean both genders there's a dimension of you that was watching god form the man because if god breathed the spirit inside of the man which he formed from the dust it means the spirit was with him before it means the spirit was with him before he breathed it into the dust into the dust into the dust so that spirit he breathed into you is the answer to everything that you will face in this life is the answer is the answer is the answer to every situation you will face i'm gonna show you how to manifest in this art realm how to live like god how to walk like god how to speak like god because he said i will make man in my image and likeness and they will have dominion so what god did there what god did there he made man in his image and likeness that is the same thing the devil wanted and god God cast down the devil. I, I'm gonna show you why Satan is angry against you. you. You're saying, I don't know why the devil is attacking me for no reason. I did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong. You are who the devil wanted to be. The devil said, I will lift up myself like the most high. Meaning, the devil wanted to be in the image of God and God judged him for that. <laughs> God judged him for that. So, the, so, so, whilst the devil was being judged and being, and he was cast down to this earth, he was there and he said, "Wait, wait, 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 wait. What is God doing here? I'm seeing God making a man in His image. I want you to be in God's image, but I'm seeing somebody else in God's image. What is God doing here? What is God doing here? This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I'm seeing a man who's talking like God. I'm seeing a woman who's talking like God. I'm seeing a man. I'm seeing." a woman and they look like God this is the same thing that took place with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego when King Nebuchadnezzar said he said wait didn't we throw three men in the fire who is that other man he looks like the son of God this is what will be the testimony for each and every one of you after this night when they look at you they will say wait 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 why is it this man is songing like God, why is it this woman is singing like God? Why is it the more we fight them, the more they're going up? Why is it the more we speak against them, the more their name is spreading? Why is it ayanda da kasekere kekele mando zobron de kekele say? Let me let me let me slow down. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. Zara, I want you to get this. I want you to grab this. It says, then the Lord God formed the man from the dust form the man from the dust from this this is powerful this is powerful most of you read this scripture and never saw what i'm going to show you here. then the lord god formed the man from the dust and the, the, the dust of the ground and breathed it into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living soul so it is showing you there without the spirit of god you are dead you are dead.
you're not a living soul so you can be walking around normal thinking that you're alive and in the realm of the spirit you are dead in the spiritual realm you are dead <laughs> Zara kata da da basi ke de kere kara mando juro do ro kodra mande de ke kere bo si ke de kere mande say father in the name of jesus open my understanding that i would understand your word open my understanding that i would understand your word open my understanding that i would understand your word in the name of jesus jere ke kere mando zo do ro koto kote kere basu koto brende de ke se Zobro ko se ke de garamando ada brande ada brande ada brande ada brande ada brande God formed the man he took his time out to form the man and then he breathed into his nostrils the spirit the spirit the spirit the spirit so jandara ka say there's a way a man could come a man could come to to that to that realization of himself knowing knowing with that you call it genosco meaning you're aware that you're not a normal man and you're not a normal woman you have god in you it is not only that you have god inside of you you are yandara ka seke teke teke te you have become one with god one with god one with god one i'm not saying you are god in heaven i'm saying jada ka seke teke re mando you are an altar you 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 project god you know like a projector screen you know a project the screen or you put the projector to the wall or or to that white board and whatever you see on the computer or whatever you see on 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 the, the phone or the lap, or the laptop whatever it is you will see it on the projector screen that is the same thing god made a man the same thing that hayanda they can say the same thing that he manifests that is the same thing the man should manifest the man should manifest So God give life to each and every one of the creation the, the each and every creation that you see around you the plants the trees and everything and even science box it up No when God planted those forest trees when when God when those trees when the, when the forest tree was planted in this earth realm you will never see God coming down again to plant any other tree why because he said ayan that I can say be fruitful multiply and replenish the earth fruitful means to, to grow from within so everything God creates it grows from within you will never find God coming down again to create another man because the first man he created he placed something inside of him to create other men in the same way he created the first one in the same we created the first one this is a ayanda ka sobro this teaching is going to make some of you very wealthy and rich very wealthy and rich watch this watch this watch this watch this i'm going to show you how you're so powerful and you don't even know you don't even know this is why the enemy is attacking you this is why the enemy is attacking you watch this in science In science there's a process called photosynthesis. There's a process called photosynthesis. And it is showing you who yan that I can say. How plants use use certain things to produce food, right? No. And one of these most important thing I yan that I can say that plants need is the carbon dioxide that you breathe out. You breathe out. So so your breath gives life to plants no oh my god oh my god holy spirit help me holy spirit help me when you breathe out when you breathe out even science backs this up when you breathe out your breath gives life to plants they need you to survive man da ka seke teke le mando creation the bible said i waited for the manifestation of the sons of god meaning all creation was waiting for 
my mind to preach what I'm telling you now. All creation is waiting for the sons of God to realize who they really are. To manifest. To manifest. So the trees that you see there, if you don't breathe, they cannot breathe. That is how God placed it. You are the God man. He played the minute the man falls the minute creation falls the minute the man is destroyed the minute creation is destroyed the minute this is powerful you learned it in science class you didn't even realize that your breath is what they breathe by creation <laughs> creation lives because you live Creation lives because you live. Creation lives because you live. Creation lives because you live. So just imagine with this understanding, you walk on the road, you're looking for a job. You don't go to the you don't go to the boss and say, Oh, I, I I'm desperately in need for a job. No, you walk. Whilst you're walking, going there, you're all in your application. I am the God man. I speak to the job before I reach there. I am already hired. I am already hired. You show up on the job. The boss is saying, why is this person waiting outside all of this while? Bring her in. Start right now. What happened there? Did you pray to God? No. You use the same dimension in you and you created that job. I am that. How can I sit here and speak to that crippled woman for five years and she she stood up and walked? What happened there? Did God do it? No. The same dimension he placed in me, I use it. I use it. How can I sit here and speak miracle money and people are waking up with, with messages in their phone, with people telling them go to go to the go to the uh, go go to Western Union and collect this money. What happened there? Did God come off of his throne to do it? No. He placed his dimension in me. I want you to understand that Yandaraka. So that spirit inside of you is not just for speaking in tongues. It's for you to live the life of God in the earth realm. In the earth realm. I don't live a normal life. That I, I say this thing so many times and it is true, it is true. I can't be okay with God wanted me to have a breakthrough and some devil stopped it. Some witch. Me. Fiaqua. It means over my dead body. Me. God wanted to bless me today. And some witch. Some witch. I stop my blessings. Me. Call his helicopter. <laughs> the son of God. Hey! <laughs> All creations is waiting for you to realize this. All creation. When you enter territory, when you enter territory, you must have this, 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 this understanding, this mindset, this genosco. That, 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 that <laughs> you are the blessing. They will tell you. Don't travel in the night. Don't travel in the night on the road because there are many accidents. You will say things like, I am the safety of the road. When I'm there, accident cannot take place. A witch will be cursing everybody in the territory. You will say, when I reach there, the witch must shut her mouth until I'm stopped speaking. <laughs> it's not pride. You know who you are in God. You know who you are in God. It's not pride. You will say, your boss will say, I don't know, I don't know what is taking place in the company, but the, 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 the stocks are going down and, and the business is not prospering. So we have to lay off a couple of persons. We have to lay off a lay off couple of persons. You're going to start praying for the rest because you know it is not you. <laughs> when you're on your job and the boss say we need to give five persons a promotion you're gonna pray for the remaining four because you know you have to be one they're saying oh this month we're gonna give five persons promotions you're gonna pray for the remaining four why because you have to be one 
this is the this is the way you move this is the way you talk this is the way you operate as the god man what did you think god did he stepped out into darkness and said please let there be like no he commanded it he created it the prophetic ministry is a revelation ministry and it is a creation it is a creative ministry there's a creative dimension and there's a revelation revelatory revelatory dimension meaning it does not only reveal things it creates things so those things those miracles and those testimonies that you're testifying most of them i did not hear the voice of god i spoke it and it came to pass even if i don't hear god speak to me if i speak it you will see it because you already give me that power <laughs> how can i speak to somebody's business and say increase and the business increase i'm not speaking to the person i'm speaking to the business the business hears my voice creation hears my voice when was the last time you prophesied to your bank account when was the last time the let me let me slow down let me slow down here let me slow down here let me go over the scripture one more time one more time one more time it says then the lord god formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living soul and the man became a living soul so the spirit of god in you knows something about you that you do not yet know there's another scripture that says no one knows the things of a man except the spirit of a man now i'm going to show you how i prophesy to people and how i know what is taking place in their life i'm going to show you a very deep deep thing in the spiritual realm the, the word of God says no one knows the things of a man except the spirit of a man meaning your spirit knows something about you that you don't know because you don't know how to tap into that that spirit that you have inside of you now when I when I look at somebody and you see me looking at them sometimes I'm seeing you on Facebook I'm seeing your name there and you find me doing something like this I'm speaking in tongues you think I'm speaking to God all of the time no I'm speaking to your spirit finding out whatever I'm speaking to your spirit to find out what is it that you're going through and how to bring you out you are yeah, on I am that I only spread out me to explain this. I'm speaking to your spirit that already know what you're going through, that already know how you should come out of it. And the only reason, the only reason, the only reason you are still in that situation today is because you don't know how to speak to your own spirit. So what God is using me to do, prophesying to you, is looking supernatural. It's looking supernatural. It is not supposed to look that way. Each and every one of you is supposed to do what I'm doing. It's, a, it's supposed to be a normal thing. It's supposed to be a normal thing. It's supposed to be a normal thing. Yes, a normal thing. Supernatural? Supernatural? It's supposed to be normal, natural. <laughs> the only reason you're amazed is because you've not yet tapped into that dimension. It says no one knows the things of a man except the spirit of a man so all I do all I do when I look at when I'm looking at somebody maybe maybe in person I might hold their hands maybe in person I might lay my hands on their forehead all I'm doing is speaking to their spirit and I'm listening and whatever that spirit your spirit tells me I tell you and then you say oh how, he, how did he know this how did he know this I didn't tell nobody this your spirit told me and you didn't even realize because you're not awakened in the spiritual realm there are many persons when I speak to them they say wait 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 I didn't tell a lot even me mother this I didn't even tell my mother this there's a girl watching right now <laughs> yes 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 you know you know you know you know that is how I know everything. <laughs> that is how I know everything. Because I, I, I spoke to your spirit and you didn't even realize. 
If I'm time I might shake your hand and I might speak in a little tongues. Jada kata kala man zok zebre keke e kata zebrongo And by that little tongues that you see there, I can know, I can see whatever took place from your mother's womb. And this is how God, this is the dimension God placed in us. So when I was speaking to that woman there from Namibia, Africa, and I was telling her about those altars before she was born, what did I do there? Did I hear it from God? No, I heard it from her own spirit. Her own spirit. This is part one. This is part one. You've not heard nothing yet. This is just the beginning. This is just the top. We, we, we're going deeper. Can we go deeper? <laughs> with this mystery with this mystery i'm going to teach you something this is not divination but with this mystery you see for those wives who will always like call the husband phone and say it's with this man there he must be there with this body he must be there with that person no with this mystery you can sit in your home <laughs> all right don't, don't I, I think i should teach them teach the one the one will bring enough enough confusion <laughs> mando broko se kede 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 mando second chronicles 20 verse 15 second chronicles 20 and verses 15 and we ain't gonna teach the one tonight we skip the one we might we might bring the one in part two or, or later them in the series we will have the one for now Second Chronicles 20, because I know that man, I get no rest after tonight. Because you're going to know all you were about. <laughs> Second Chronicles 20, verse 15. Jada kata darba zoko to brum de de keke. Jede keke gele mando. You see the oil of joy done kicking in. Watch them, watch them, watch them. Ah, man, do broko seke de gere. Jede keke la mando. Ayanda da kasi eke de kiri mundo jada da badi eke le mundo. Second Chronicles twenty and verses fifteen. Ah ya kada bo se ke te kiri And the word of God says. Yes, now just give me a sec. Jarraba soko to bronde de kese. Found by them to the one who is in Jamando reke, hele mando, sheke de basike. Ikabade, ikabade. Oh, sorry about that. Colossians 3 verse 3. I get I, I I got mixed up there with that with that scripture. Colossians 3 and verse 3. Sorry about that, guys. Colossians 3 verse 1 to 3. Colossians 3 and verse 1 to 3. Zarakata Babadi Karamando. Colossians 3 verse 1 to 3. Yes, Colossians 3 and verse 1 to 3. Zaraka so brum de ke say this is a very powerful mystery. Your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. Colossians 3, verse 1 to 3. It says, Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your, set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated in at the right hand of God. Right? Verse 2. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Verse 3 now. This is, this is the part. For you died, <laughs> for you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ, and Christ is hidden in God. It says, For you died, your life is now hidden with Christ, and Christ is now hidden in God. For four, when Christ, who is your life, appears, then also you will appear with him in glory 
no that is very mixed up that is very mixed up if god won't help you to understand that you think that you need to die physically so that the glory of god will be shown on your life no it is talking about you dying to yourself a man can come to a, 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 a state or a woman can come to a state where she or he has died to themselves and allow christ to manifest through them there's a way you can come to an absolute surrender to christ meaning you want to do this but christ don't want you to do this you don't do it and you do what christ wants and the more you put 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 to death the more you put to death to your desires the more god's desires will manifest in your life and the more you do the will of god eventually eventually you will find you will find the same glory that is in heaven the same glory that is in heaven they will see it on your life we are at that we are at that that service there in Bogville and 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 this there, there are many people they tell me when they were looking at me they were seeing this glory like this shining light on me and I, I laughed I laughed I laughed because I know what they were talking about it's the glory of God when you come to a, a, a point where you have, have, have absolutely surrendered to him when people look at you it they will I, I i i don't know how to say this it means there's a way you can surrender everything that when people look at you they will not see you but they will see your god this is what will make you a mighty man a mighty woman not a, not only a man of god but a yanda meaning you've become one 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 with god one with god one with god so when god speaks in heaven you speak the same thing in earth when god moves you move when god speak you speak when god walk you walk when god talk you talk the, bishop, the man bishop oyedoba puts it this way you are the biological microphone of your generation meaning if god wants to speak to somebody he don't need to leave heaven he has your tongue he grips your tongue there's a way god grips your tongue and speak some word you will you will be in your kitchen minding your own business one day cutting up greens and god will grip your tongue he will start speaking i call forth favor you don't know what god is doing you're minding your own business doing whatever you're doing in that kitchen cutting up greens you're going to cook and god is saying this family is blessed you don't even know sometimes god will provoke you to speak some things this family is blessed we will not die we will live to declare the works of the lord we're blessed in the city blessed in the field blessed going out blessed coming in we are blessed our money will increase you don't even know the spirit of god is provoking you to speak he's a speaking spirit the man apostle paul he puts it this way he says having received the spirit of faith we we don't speak on any vices fables our eyes have seen the lord we speak the spirit speech we speak what god wants us to speak if god says something we speak it if god says something we speak it i want you to know tonight you will receive that same spirit of faith you will receive that same spirit and the same way the man became a living soul god is about to bring some of you back to life because your spiritual life is dead your walk with god is dead yeah yeah yeah, yeah your zeal your passion for god is dead god is about to raise that back to life there's a reason why this ministry is called rise up ambassadors of jesus christ because god is raising some people up in this this, this generation god is raising up a mighty church a mighty army not a lukewarm church not people who mourn and complain and the minute something goes wrong they run to the prophet they run to the pastor they run to the apostle i i'm teaching you a mystery tonight the devil should appear in your in your home tonight you will say get back devil there's a man of god by the name 
A. A. Allen. There was a man of God by the name of A. A. Allen. Man do broko sekere mon sekere. He had some sons, some spiritual sons. They were trying to cast out this demon, and this demon was tormenting them. They 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 hold on the demon. I I think it was like ten of them had to hold on this demon possessed man, and this demon was disgracing them, disgracing them. And the man showed up, and the man said, "What are you doing here? Why are you doing here?" And he said, "Loose him, release him." And he went to the man, that demon possessed man, and he whispered something in his ears. And all of the men there, they were watching, and immediately the demons left that man. And everybody wanted to know, wanted to know what did A. A. Allen tell that man, tell those that demon possessed man in his ears, so that the demons would leave. And one of his sons, he, he followed him, and he said, "Daddy." Or, or father meaning a spiritual father what did you tell him and the man said i told him one thing i said my name is a a allen <laughs> all the man did was introduce himself the demon started screaming and the demon said we're going we're going we're going we're going he did not have to pray he did not have to fast he did not have to speak in tongues no all he did was introduce himself you must come to a, a stature a, a place in the realm of the spirit where all you have to do is show up and demons will tremble all you have to do is show up and demons will flee all you have to do is show up and the devil will run for his life my name is Collis Alicock. This is the same thing that happened to the sons of Skeva. The Yatakatanem and say They said, we come to cast you out in the name of Jesus whom Paul preached. Those demons said, Paul I know, Jesus I know. Meaning, Ayandala Kosea. We recognize the authority of Paul. We recognize the authority of Jesus. But we don't know you. We don't know you. You must come to a yandala so you must come to a place in the spiritual realm when demons look at you and say don't mess with Collins Alicock don't mess with Shanika Shanika McCarmon don't mess with Tamika Gills don't mess with Lahlika don't mess with Loretta Hines because this is not a normal man this is not a normal woman you don't touch the Lord's anointed nor do his prophets no harm because the God they serve will disgrace you will disgrace you he will wipe you out he will wipe you out paul i know jesus i know the god man the god man when i enter territories i don't even have to pray sometime why because i know i'm coming i'm the key <laughs> Jesus, listen most of you are afraid to speak like this Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father unto me but but through me meaning Jesus is the key now if you have that Jesus in you that life of Jesus in you and you're walking around with him meaning you're walking around with the key so as long if there's anybody's destiny that is locked up body that is in bondage as long as you show up as long as you show up that person is free i'm not saying you have to pray for them by just shaking their hands by just by just waving at them by just smiling as i'm speaking the lord is already setting some of you free i'm not saying i have to pray for you by just looking at me i know who i am in the realm of the spirit you are free already in jesus name Look at the testimonies. There are persons, they just joined the live stream with headaches. They just joined the live stream with pains all over. They just joined the live stream with all, all sorts of things. I didn't even pray for them. And immediately as they joined, the Lord set them free. What took place there? I know who I am. I know who I am. This is what Sinat sung. He said, I know who I am. If you don't know who you are, the devil will always disgrace you. The devil will always disgrace treat you like like a peasant the word of god says you are god's little children but you shall die like mere men because the people who know their god is the only people that will be strong and if you don't know your god you will not be strong you will not be strong the god man the god man how 
can you march around a, a, a fortified city called Jericho and shout for seven days and the wall come down? What is that? Do you think that is normal? I want you to know as a God man, as a God woman, the Spirit of God will provoke you to do some things. It will look foolish to the world because he said, I use the foolish things of the world to confound the world. He, he will tell you he will tell you I am that they can say shout and while you're shouting they think you're crazy but not knowing you're bringing down Jericho you're bringing down that wall you're bringing down that gate by a shout by a shout sometimes he will tell you dance and while you're dancing like David David wife said oh you are a king and you're disgracing yourself like like a peasant in front of everybody else the man said shut up this same dance you see me doing here this is the reason I am the king and your father is not the king anymore I dance myself into the into being the king I dance myself into this position I want you to know that job you're looking for if you just write down the application put it on your floor and dance on it dance on it for the night hey, Lama, I'm teaching you a very I'm teaching you a very deep mystery I'm teaching you a very deep mystery you will bother that boy for the entire night until he until he hires you until he hires you you want a promotion you want a promotion write it down lie on the floor lie on the floor and <laughs> you think tongues you think tongues is a normal thing he said no he who speak it in tongues edify it himself i'm teaching you very deep mysteries very deep mysteries there is more to there's more there's more there's more there's more there's more there's many more that i can reveal to you but we will do this in parts i can't give you everything now i can't give you everything now <laughs> you know you know when you eat all kind of thing and you eat too much you get colic and you just want vomit this is the same way when you overeat the word of god you can feel it affect you <laughs> it can destroy you so <laughs> one witch rose up against your family one witch rose up against your business and she's speaking and pompousetting herself hey Lock yourself in the room. I command that witch to go down. Speak like your God. Speak like your father. Speak like your God. You are not a normal man. You're not a normal woman. You are the son of the Most High God. You are the daughter of the Most High God. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. God is on your side. Power is on your side. The Holy Spirit is on your side. I say it before and I will say it again. I will say it again. I will say it again. I can't be okay with God wanting to bless me today. And some witch, because she enchanted, stop my blessings. Me, Tofia Kwa. Hey, not this one. Not this call is Ali Kok. Maybe another one. Maybe another one. Listen, there's a way, as humble as I look, you, <laughs> as humble as I look on these live streams, hey, in my room, I am terrible. <laughs> in my room, I'm terrible. Because there is where I am, Dalaba Soko Riman, did they can say, I am leaping over into territories. I am tearing down gates. You, 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 you guys are, many of you guys are watching and you're saying, how is it, how is it that his name, how is it that people are always talking about him? You go to places and hear people talking about me. Most of you are saying, how is it that I, I, I'm just attracted to this boy? How is it that I, I some of you can't even help yourself. You're always talking. You're always talking. Oh, did you watch this one? Did you watch this video? Did you watch this video? You're, you're sharing to your friends. This is how you are, right? And most people are wondering, most people are wondering, how is it this young man 
How is it this young man? How is it that I find myself so attracted to him? Why is it that I can't even focus on my chores and I'm just attracted to these videos? I I'm doing something in the realm of the spirit. It is called <laughs> it is, I am activating my God dimension. I am in my room. I am so say speaking in tongues, <laughs> worshiping God let me teach you something let me teach you something i'm going to teach you a very powerful mystery here jesus was telling his disciples he said go into all the world and preach the gospel go into all the world look 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 look, look, look at look at them in the comments look at them in the comments <laughs> go into all the world and preach the gospel preach the gospel no 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 the word world it comes from a it comes from a word cosmos it comes from a word cosmos right that word cosmos the root word for cosmos is <laughs> the word the root word for cosmos is you can get cosmetics right no 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 i'm going to teach you something very powerfully you know anybody with with cosmetics or makeup right you know it's fake right you know that's not how beautiful they are <laughs> and I want you to know there's makeup and there's mess up. There's makeup and there's mess up. This video will have, this part will offend many, many that will watch this. But I have to say, there's makeup and there's mess up. You will look at somebody and you will say, wait, 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 wait. What was she really doing to herself? Was she really doing to herself? Oh my God. Sometimes you just feel sorry for them. You just feel real sorry for them because there's makeup and there's mess up. You would say, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's, 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 you, uh, make up and there's a mess up. No, no, no. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel and preach the gospel. That word world comes, Alicia Hodge know why, why talking about because there she feel, there she avenue, right? No, 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 no. That word world comes from a word cosmos. Cosmos is a root word for cosmetic, meaning, cosmetics is fake that's not the real person as beautiful as they look on social media if you would see them in person you would run you would see them in person you would run for your life <laughs> there's one time i saw this i was i i was speaking to this person was a girl right that was a long time ago and I, and, and I saw her picture on facebook and this girl was looking real good boy we go this before i was in ministry or anything like that and i saw this girl in person for the first time oh my god god forgive me but this girl oh my god i was disappointed <laughs> all right all right let me get back to the word it means the makeup is the fake so when god when jesus was saying when jesus was saying when Jesus was saying, <laughs> go into all the world and preach the gospel, he's saying, I want you to know the gospel is truth, right? The gospel is the truth. The word of God is the truth. He's saying, go into the fake and put the truth. Go into the fake and put the truth. Go into the fake and put the truth. Meaning, meaning wherever you find something is not that is not the word of God he wants you to put the word of God apply the word of God until you see it manifest until you see it manifest so if you find poverty yes the oil of joy is working the oil of joy is working somebody at the back there somebody at the back there is killing themselves with laugh you can't control it yes if you find poverty in your life and you don't see it in the word of God he wants you to put the truth because it's a lie the devil alone is not the only liar anything that you find in your life that is not the word of God it's a lie your poverty is a lie your sickness it's a lie your, your depression it's a lie your oppression it's a lie your business not functioning perfectly it's a lie your children not functioning perfectly in school it's a lie I want you to call out every liar 
whatever you find in your life and your family that is not the word of God it's a lie so when Jesus was saying go in all the world and preach the gospel he was not only speaking for you to just put on a white suit and stand behind a pulpit and and, and quote scripture from the Bible he's saying that same Bible that same word of God that you have there is saying if you use it and apply it to your life wherever you find something that you don't find there Ayakata in a they can say you're correcting lies tonight we're going to correct some lies tonight we're going to correct some lies tonight we're going to correct some lies that poverty is a lie that sickness is a lie that death that death that lack pain is a lie pain is a lie and i want so he says you must search the scriptures find out the word that speaks directly to you directly to that situation apply it and correct the lie correct the lie correct the lie correct the lie i'm very sorry for the persons that wear makeup i'm very sorry but it's not you it's not you that's the truth it's not you it's not you don't don't be fooled it's not you that's fake now the same way that's fake this that is the same way that is the same way i know i will be i will be stoned for this video i will be stoned many of them will message me and say oh you shouldn't say that you shouldn't say that you offended me i'm i'm very sorry but the, the spirit of the lord provoked me to speak that so anybody you should be vexed or angry with tonight be angry with jesus because it is him speaking through me <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Enough of them will start trying to wear the makeup because they 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 won't wear it no more. All right, let me get back. Let me focus. Let me focus. Let me focus. Good. You're gonna apply the word of God tonight to that lie, to that fake thing, to that fake thing. <clears throat> In Jesus' name. I think I should give, go a little go go a little deeper. I think I should go a little deeper. I don't want to just leave it brushed off like this. I think I should go a little deeper. If I see five persons saying go deeper, I will go deeper. Can I go deeper? Can I go deeper? <laughs> just five persons. Only five. Only five. Only five I need to say go deeper and I'm going deeper. I am unraveling this mystery tonight. I am going deeper. I see one, two. Three, three, four. Yeah, mando roko seke le mando. Five. Good. That is all I need. Six. Zaraka se. I am going deeper. 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 You want me to show you how most of you are broke? I'm speaking to the woman. Let me tell you how most of you are broke. This is a very deep mystery that takes place in the world and and this is why this is how some people steal your wealth and your glory and you don't even know what's this in india in india and, and don't please don't say i'm targeting the woman's no this is this is going to save you in india there's a certain time in the year <clears throat> that the woman's gather the female gather right and they shave off their ear they shave off their ear they shave off their hair. This practice is still taking place up to today. They shave off their human hair, right? Ball their head and take that hair. And sometimes they go to their idols, their demonic god, and they pl place these hair there. They place their ears there, lay it on that altar. Or sometimes they go down by the river and they, they spread all of their ears out. And they kneel down and pray to their demonic god. And they, they pray to those deities and they say, they pray to them and say, whoever, whoever uses this air, oh my God, this is going to grow on some of your skin. Some of you, your pores will raise up. They're saying to their God, whoever uses this air, transfer their wealth to us and give them our poverty. This is why some of you are so poor, are so broke. You got the latest Brazilian air, air from India, air from this, air from, from. <laughs> ah, you are human air. And, and to think, why is it this air is so expensive? No, you're paying, you're paying extra. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. God, oh my God, Jada Kata Kata Baba Badi Karamandi. Why, why are they using hair? 
why are they using hair because the bible said the hair of the woman is the is our glory is our glory the hair of the woman is our glory so when they shave their hair and they put it on that on that demonic altar and they speak to their god and they say whoever uses this hair give us their glory give us their wealth and <laughs> And, and let them have our poverty some of you the minute you buy one of them here <laughs> i'm very sorry for saying this you're looking for money and can't find money not because you're working you're working but you don't even know where the money where the money gone what are you doing with the money you can't find nothing to say well i bought this i bought this no you can't buy nothing because your glory has been taken and put in india and somebody in india prospering because of your glory that was stolen tonight god is restoring back that glory to you but i want you to realize what is taking place this world that you think well i want you to know nobody prospers without a spirit it is either you prosper by mammon or prosper by the spirit of god They will not tell you these things you will see them on the media you will see them on youtube and telling you go to school school is good <laughs> we studied for years that is how we are so wealthy wealthy no they're stealing your glory that is how they're wealthy they will never teach you everything oh i get it latest brand <laughs> some of them want us long till to the knee <laughs> this so long you're gonna suffer because your glory was taken the minute you put it on long to your knee this so long you're gonna be in the poverty <laughs> yeah. some of them are laughing no more some of them all, all them stop laugh no all of them with it laughing just know that they are laugh, suddenly laughing no more <laughs> i am man the reiki kill it so jodo koto brain the reiki somebody weak look 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 somebody said a week <laughs> ah, i'm not a broke or sick of them and the fighting them if you see them by the air salon so and by the air by the air air place i i, I want this one the latest <laughs> and you're paying, you're paying money so that somebody would steal your glory the minute you put it on the minute you put it on what i read in psalms 3 i read in psalms 3 it says many are there who multiply against me meaning many are there who, who rise up against me and then it says for thou O lord art a shield for me you are my glory and the lifter up of my head meaning if by chance anybody store your glory or store your star god is restoring that glory and i'm not i'm not saying this so that you guys should stop buying your hair buy your hair buy your makeup wherever you god lead you to do look nice <laughs> well i just giving you a heads up just giving you a heads up if you think you need the hair to look good by the hair but just know that when you when you put on the human hair somebody in india somewhere will prosper because of your glory and you will receive the poverty it's a well transfer a transaction takes place in the realm of the spirit <laughs> so what is problem by the lady said get a lot of women looking strange in London <laughs> I like the one I like the one I like the one <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> ah yeah that man the broker say <laughs> <laughs> just excuse me it's the oil of joy it's not me 
is the oil of joy provoking me to laugh? <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some water. Let me get some water. <laughs> Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you guys blessed by this teaching? <laughs> Are you blessed? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Zara kada baba bari kada kai. Eka bronde, eka bronde, eka bronde, eka bronde. Ah! All right. Hmm. All right. Don't 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 let me get too. <laughs> when we get into the theology part it was just a joke but it's a serious thing though be careful with the human ears because these people literally do, 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 do that so be careful be very careful look 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 somebody vex when you see she get her one <laughs> she, she vex but she bless in the name of Jesus <laughs> the only way you could vex the only way she could vex is if she get her one right now right now as I speak it <laughs> this is the only way this is the only way you could vex the only way you could vex is if right now you get her one <laughs> <laughs> you see, this Isle of Jai Brick causing problem. I think we should play this prayer anymore for the rest of the week. We can go, we can we can use the Isle of Jai till next week. <laughs> because this causing problem. Somebody vex <laughs> and it's still blessed. Where is this she get on it? <laughs> alright, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Heart, that you are the son of the living God you're my Lord and Savior now say I am saved I'm translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light unto God's dear son I am moving forward ever and backward never in Jesus name you repeated that prayer you're now a child of God now you have access to those God dimensions now it is time to activate the Spirit of God in you to activate the Spirit of God in you to activate the Spirit of God in you a blessed good night to you, Shelly and Henry. The topic for tonight is the God man. The God man. This is only part one. Now, I want to demonstrate the God inside of me. I want to demonstrate the power of the God that is inside. Is there anything that I should pray for? Is there anything that I should speak and cause it to manifest like right now? Is there anybody sick? Is there anybody in any situation and you need to come out like right, right now? Let me see. Comment and I'm going to speak. Jaranda de que se, jere que quiere mando. Okay, I speak that that green car should come in the mail tomorrow. It is done, just like that. Financial healing, you heal. I declare let there be financial breakthrough in your life, King. Make a guilt. Oh, you need back your glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever, whatever, whatever took place in the realm of the spirit that stole our glory, we declare it is restored now. Now, right now, right now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I speak a permanent job for him, Shanika, in the name of Jesus. Let there be financial breakthrough. Now, before anybody else would comment, I want you guys to do something. The Lord is the Lord is telling me, Dora Johnson, we speak healing over your body. We speak healing over your body. 
We speak here and over your body. Loretta, Loretta Hines, we declare that land documents will be signed in Jesus' name. Now, the Lord is telling me something. I want you guys, I don't do this all the time. I only do it when I hear the Spirit of God saying it. I want you guys to do something. I want you guys to commend the country you're watching from. Whatever country you're watching from, commend that country. Commend that country. And you can put, put the flag next to the country. Commend the country and put a flag. The country's name, the name of your country, and put a flag next to it. The Lord will, will speak something directly to you. You're gonna you're gonna receive, you're gonna receive. Just kidney stones. We speak of your life, Michelle Semple, in the name of Jesus. That kidney stone problem is over forever in Jesus' name. Good. I speak of your life, Altia Hillman, in the USA. Whatever the word of God says, if you find a thief. He must not only restore what he stole from you, but he must return it sevenfold. I declare, let there be a sevenfold restoration right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak increase into your life. I speak favor over your life. I declare you're blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed going out, and blessed coming in. In Jesus' mighty name. Loretta Hines. Loretta Hines. Loretta Marks. Um... Shemaine Beckles, Anika Thorn, Gaina Mitchell, all of you are in Guyana. I speak over your life. Let there be access for you. Whatever limitation that is limiting your life and your family in Guyana, we break those barriers down. We break those restrictions down. The word of God says, Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I speak liberty over your life, liberty over your businesses if you have business, liberty over your family right now. I speak increase, I speak favor, I speak multiplication in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, begin to expand, begin to increase, begin to spread, begin to multiply right now in the name of Jesus. Rick Lewis, you're watching from Jersey. You need your work permit. I declare by the Spirit of the living God, I release that work permit into your hands. I will accept God be God. I release that work permit into your hands right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name. Right now, in Jesus' name, Gladys Cornelius, Alicia Hodge, Devon Sears, Candice Perea, you're in Guyana. I speak increase. I speak access into your life. In this country, in this country, I see the angel of the Lord breaking down gates. And the Lord wants me to tell you, he's giving you access to new territories to new nations very soon i don't know if i told you this before but very soon for the names that i just called here very soon the lord is going to take you in other countries you're going to start traveling very soon very soon i see the angel of the lord breaking down iron gates breaking down iron gates i speak favor over your life and your families i speak increase you're blessed going out you're blessed coming in in the name of jesus tamika guilt you're in the usa i speak in the name of jesus i speak in the name of jesus i speak in the name of jesus the favor of the lord is upon you the blessing of the lord is upon you and your family for good you're blessed and not cursed you will live and not die I speak over your son's life, the spirit of wisdom. I pray for a baptism of the spirit of wisdom. I speak increase. I speak favor. I call for destiny helpers, men and women who will arise and be a blessing to your life financially. I command them to locate you now in Jesus' mighty name. I speak healing over your life, Janelle Mitchell. Whoever is suffering with that gallbladder or whatever is that bleeding problem, we declare it is over forever in Jesus' name. We speak financial breakthrough and the favor of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. King Jara Kataba, I speak favor over your life. The Lord will favor you and increase you and lift you in this season in Jesus' name. Vey Joseph, Vey Joseph, we're having 
a deep pain in your left foot, right? I want you to check your foot and make sure the pain is there. Because immediately as I speak the word, the pain will go. And I want you to comment and let us know if the pain is still there, right? Ve, 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 Joseph, I speak to your feet right now. Hear the word of the Lord. That pain leaves now that pain leaves now I command that pain to check out now in the name of Jesus I command from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet wherever there is pain in your body it goes now by the way I hear the Lord says high blood pressure goes down back to normal I don't know who this word is for but high blood pressure goes down back to normal high blood pressure goes down back to normal mando broko seke teke re mando jere mando check yourself there Joseph the pain is gone in the name of Jesus Janelle Mitchell Shanika favor the young Michelle Semple Colleen London you're in Guyana I speak over your lives in the name of Jesus 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 mando broko sekere mando let every restriction be broken let every barrier be broken let every weapon the enemy use against you malfunction i hear the lord says you will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you i'm not cursing them but the lord is saying the lord is saying the lord is saying anybody that speaks a curse against your life they are in trouble so i want you to start warning your enemies tell them they are in trouble i speak favor i speak increase i speak the blessing of the lord over your life and your family in Jesus name in Jesus mighty name Natasha Ramnarine you're in Guyana Jada Karamando Reki Yenemando Jereke say I I I saw the Guyana flag but I'm seeing the USA I don't know if you, you ever went to, to the to the you to the US before but I see the Lord taking you there or I don't know if you're there presently but I see the USA I saw the Guyana flag I saw the Guyana flag but I'm seeing I'm here in the USA and I'm seeing the USA flag. I don't know why Natasha Ramnarayan. But I I, 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 I I hear the Lord says it is either you're there or it's either he's gonna take you there very soon. Very soon. I speak in Greece. Good, 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 good. <laughs> so so <laughs> you guys are seeing that, right? She commented Diana, but I the Lord showed me the USA. She commented Diana, but the Lord showed me the USA. She can't hide from this one. You can't hide you can't hide your location. This this man of God will locate you. <laughs> you can't say Guyana and God show me USA. In the name of Jesus, I speak increase over your life. I speak increase over your life. I speak increase over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak increase over your life, Natasha Ram not Ram Narain, And over your children in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. De De Deborah Ingraham, Ingraham, you're watching from the Bahamas island. I speak of your life in the Bahamas. Let there be increase. Let there be multiplication. Let there be favor. Let there be favor. I see. I see. I see this big fruit. I see this big fruit, and and, and it's like the angel of the Lord planting this the the, the seed from this fruit, and it, it starts bringing up more 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 trees and i hear the lord say tell you tell you he's pushing you in a season of expansion he's pushing you in a season of multiplication whatever you have in your hands it will start multiplying rapidly uncontrollably uncontrollably you can't explain it you can't explain it but you're entering a season of expansion 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 Alison Richards, I speak to that body right now. You are healed. Just like that, you are healed completely. The Lord has healed you. The Lord has healed you. The Lord has healed you. Right now. Right now. Right now. Jadaba Kataba. Call in London. I speak of your life in Linden, Guyana. Be favored. Be favored. Be favored. Be exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I speak over your life and your mother's life, King. May the Lord open doors to favor you, to favor your mother. She will have that job, a great job. In the name of Jesus, um, Chanelle Bowen, I don't, I can't pray for you to have a spiritual growth. You have to decide whether you want to 
obey God, then your spiritual life will go. Spiritual life. I'm not. I'm not saying that well, your prayers will not go your spiritual life. But that's a decision you have to make between you and God. Whether you will hear His voice and obey Him and study His Word, worship, pray, fast, whatever God leads you to do, that is what will build your spiritual life. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Shara kata baba di kagamando, jubro ko sekete. Jire ke ramando, zabronde de, zabronde de, zabronde de, zabronde de, zabronde de. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I'm gonna just speak as I hear from God. Let me just get some water. In the name of Jesus. I speak over your life, Michelle. Sample. That problem with that kidney stone. We declare it is over. Look, 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 look. Pain is gone. <laughs> you guys have seen that? There's the same woman that said she, she was having some pain in her left foot. Look, look. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. The woman said the pain is gone. <laughs> All right. So, so you guys see, and this is this is this is how you should live as a God man and a God woman. As you speak it, you must see it come to pass. As you speak it, you must see it come to pass. The pain is gone. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jeremundo, o coremere, já dando de que se, e bronde de que se, 